Hey, okay, so yep, we got all of that to get through. But before we get to that, I'm super excited because I now have studio lighting in here. Like it's real proper studio lighting um, with the correct kind of bulbs and everything else that I need. So I'm super pumped. I think it's gonna give me plenty of light um, to help show you guys what's going on when I do the spray sessions. Um, it's also shipping day, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, and I really, I, I want to rewind just for a second and take you back to this and some of these. So let me kind of pan out here. Oh, I am panned out. Yeah, it's Friday. I haven't had coffee yet. So I had to put up new shelving in here because I got um, an extraordinary gift from um, one of my subscribers, which I'm really excited about talking about because he was, he was pretty awesome. Um, so I got a bunch of paint, airbrush paint, from, well, let me tell you about it. This is, well, I know what that is. Yep, you can get blanks that are quality delivered to your door on a Sunday, thanks to Amazon. This, however, is something pretty special. That'll work. Cool, came with a letter, yay. Oh, come on dolphins, please be the patriots. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay, so let's look at this letter, see what it says. And again, my GoPros are all charging right now, um, or gonna be charging. This is probably like the clumsiest unboxing ever in the history of YouTube. I don't care. This is just really cool. Um, I hope you can use these paints. I thoroughly enjoy your coaching videos. You are an amazing painter. I didn't invoice you because I came up with a better idea. Instead of paying anything directly, I would be happy and honored to be in possession of some of your baits. Please consider your choice regards Chris Marshall. There's that address we didn't want to show you guys. Sorry, Chris. Your location has been compromised. Um, wow, Chris. Yeah, you got it. There's going to be some baits coming your way for this because this is a lot. This is, wow, this is com art. This is all unopened, unused com art paint. So that's the story. So all the shelving is now in place. We've kind of reimagined what's going on over here. We've got really good lighting, which I had to because that's getting ready. You can see that poor little pathetic thing is still just blinking and blinking. Um, but it served me well. It's served its purpose. It's never been super bright, but now with the help of all that, we should be good to go. So, Molly, you want to tell them what we've got for them today? No? Okay. All right, well, we have a bunch of orders going out. Um, and before the orders go out, let me just kind of give you a sneak peek as to what's going on with some of them and see if I can remember. Okay, so you have to understand, if you go to the website, www.jackalbaits.com, you're going to see over 100 patterns. And that's just because I have a frenetic brain, I guess, and I just like to put new patterns out there. Um, maybe that's practical, maybe it's not, but they're all tested, which means if I'm not eating and sleeping fishing, I'm fishing. And if I'm not testing and fishing, then I'm in here creating because this is how I make my way in the world. And you guys know that by now. Um, good morning, Aunt Kay. Love this mug. I use it lots. Um, so this is the Imperial Prawn. We're going to start with this one because it's pink and since it's breast cancer awareness month why not start out with pink kind of fades into orange which is cool because orange is also a killer craw color this time of the year 
and it's got a little bit of red in it, which means that we are in the fall scene. Um, yes, it's 7.30 in the morning, and I've already painted, so that's why I have paint on my nails. It's just the way I live. Y'all just, you should be used to it by now. This is the Mossy Back Shiner. We'll bring this under the light. It's got a little bit of that Caribbean blue, um, green fading into a moss green up top, a little bit of plum on the, the back, and then a little plum, and uh, I believe that the color on the belly, that little bit of yellow, is uh, a canary yellow. Thread fins, just a little bit of blush, and we're still keeping with the, the pinkish reds in tradition with this month. I love doing the holographics. Holographics, holographics are some of my favorite to do because um, they really pull the paint out of the bait, I think. There's a little one five. We've got a pearl shiner. And this is one of those dinger baits, folks. This is the dinger that's pressed from the duo that not only swims like the duo and weighted like the duo, but with the weight transfer system and the bait, um, really, really in the eyes as well. Uh, very simple pattern, but this time of year when the shad are dying off and your minnows are dying off and the thermocline is going crazy, this little SP100 is a fantastic way to get bit. One of my faves. You can find it on the website as well. Just look under um, jerk baits and twitch baits. The Alabama Craw. And these are going to get dressed up and shipped out this morning. Neon Pumpkin Seed. We've got some really cool it's a it's a little bit of a blend uh, I've got fluorescent sunburst and fluorescent orange on the belly we're using that um, wired mesh ribbon the random mesh and I do have that description below so there's a direct link for pretty much everything I use there's a direct link below but this is also a great way to get bit and then we've got the fluorescent red on the nose a breeding crappie that bright orange chest and a distressed crappie and the cool thing about the distressed crappie is that there is veining you guys can see that actually let me pull this under the LED so you can see that a little bit better there's veining underneath that makes it look like it has been running its butt off getting chased and then all of that is red underneath really good veining in these and this is also a fantastic fall bait and this is a 1.5 just really cool love the distressed crappie it's one of my favorite go-to's this time of year winter works really well when those crappie get suspended this is the bright thread fin also on a holographic. Now the customer did not order this on a holographic, but I threw it on a holographic as a thank you because it was a pretty big sizable order. Um, and sometimes I like to surprise my customers and give them something a little extra because you don't get that in today's world near enough, I don't think. Um, you don't get thank yous from companies that recognize that you're spending hard on money. So I try to whenever I can. This is the Sugar Lake Crawl. Very simple crawl pattern, but a very effective color pattern this time of year. Sugar Lake Crawl, and actually there's two separate orders going out. This is a combination of parts of both of them. Gummy fish. I haven't done a gummy fish in I don't know how long, and it's been for, I almost forgot it was on the website. Um, but a customer ordered gummy fish, also an effective. It's almost like a, a tiger pattern or a fire pattern with the fluorescence. It's got fluorescent green fading into a fluorescent orange and just your, your random speckle pattern. A little bit of darkening on the eyes and silver eyes. This is also on a 1.5. Toxic crappie. 
another go-to. Any kind of dingy water, stained water this time of year, those fish are going to be a, a little bit more shallow. I do a lot of Lake Charles Cross, and not just for Lake Charles, Louisiana, or the lake that it was named after here in Arkansas. Um, lake Charles is a, a very stumpy lake around here, and you can see that I've got that on the nice reflective foiled Dinger S. Dingerbaits.com, folks. He's got some really good blanks out there for you. But I just love watching these things swim. And that also gives that extra oomph in the water when these things are moving back and forth. Um, very helpful when you're trying to get the fish to recognize that they need to chase a bait that you're putting before them. This is a wild river craw in a 1. Point, or I'm sorry, this is in a 2.5. Very, very subtle. It's got a lot of sand and bone undertones in this. Um, the base is actually sand, and then we layer the, we fold the other colors up into it. So you've got that olive drab green, some powder and, and um, Caribbean blues, and then you fade down to a deep red, and then that traditional lifelike cross-scaling on the segment of body underneath. This is also one of my favorite baits. And it's got a little bit of pink in it, but that's not a traditional pink. I didn't spray pink. It's just the, the fade between the bone and the red. But hey, this month, it works, ladies, gentlemen. This is a not named craw yet. It's a good color scheme. Love these eyes. And these eyes are actually available at Lure Parts Online. I know I do a lot of stuff that I feature um, John over at Jetson, and uh, he's got phenomenal eyes too. But as far as the chrome, Lure Parts has got some really, really good chrome eyes. Um, go to Lure Parts Online, I think I feature them too. Uh, I don't like a lot of the blanks that I get out of there, and I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't qualify it like that. I don't purchase a lot of the blanks that I get out of there. They also are a blank vendor here in the United States, so they get you the order pretty quick. But I love their eyes. They've got some foil. They've got a lot. It's Angler's Workshop and Lure Parts Online. Obviously, I'm not sponsored to say that. They don't pay me to say it. But anywhere where you guys can find stuff that you need, if you guys are air um, paint slingers out there, airbrush gunners, um, this is one of the places. And they've been around for years and years and years. In this particular pattern, as I bring it up to the light, you can see that there's green underneath that, which is also a key crawl color. I know we're going along on this one, but the next thing that we're going to do, because we have proper lighting, the mouse video should be out tomorrow evening. So today is Friday. Today is October 5th, I think. I think. And, um, yeah. So... I know you guys have been waiting on that one. I've been trying to give you a little, little snippets and segments of what to practice on before we get started on it. And uh, go check out Novik's new mouse. That thing is hot, hot, hot. Also a great, one of the great painters out there. And then this is the Copper Crawl. I think this is the last bait we have to show you in this particular one. Life light segments, shading. It's got some uh, sepia, some gold, some copper, a couple of different tones of orange, almost like a smoke orange. And there you have it, folks. This is also done on a holographic foiled bait. Hope you guys have enjoyed. There's a couple others over here. There's just a crappie, a uh, regular shad, and then this little guy. Um, I featured it on my Facebook page, and I'll just spend a couple of minutes talking to you guys about that. But you guys can see what I'm doing now. This was a triumph for me um, a few years ago. This was the first bait that I learned how to blend colors together without ugly, ugly, ugly overspray. So um, Michael Warrenstein, I always preach his stuff because he's one of the people that have taught me over the years and continually teaches me. Um, and he's got some great Lure Me and Custom Crankbaits online um, here on YouTube. 
you can really, really get some phenomenal instruction from him. And there's others out there too. If you go over to the, uh, the featured artists on this channel, you're going to see some other people that I really admire, um, that I love to learn from and that have taught me over the years. But this is my first blend. And it's a very simple pattern. This is patterned after the PPJ Yamamoto bait. Um, usually I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't talk about something like this as a cleanup bait. I would do one of the really cool featured stuff that I'm doing now. But we all have to start learning somehow. And I was just elated that I could copy that PBJ Yamamoto Senko um, and really get the, 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 cause they do the laminate baits as well. And if you guys are not familiar with uh, laminate Senkos, go check out Tackle Warehouse or one of the, one of your tackle shops that offers them. And then it's just got some green and red glitter. This is made to mimic a PBJ Senko, period. It's got some red eyes, got red hooks on it. And it catches fish anywhere where they strike this plastic they do strike this and i have pictures and proof which i'm not going to include now because i have to go back through different laptops and external hard drives but it just shows you that everybody has to start somewhere and i'm doing some pretty cool stuff these days but i started from stuff like that just like some of you guys out there so that's that's my never give up for the day so and don't keep painting keep imagining new things and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend happy casting if you're fishing happy football watching if you're a college or, or a pro sports fan I am otherwise I wouldn't have a cat that's named me 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 me